Hi, it's Hakeem here from Hand Associates and I just want to take you through a quick video on the Decision Influencer Map, the Excel workbook version. But before we get started, we suggest that you watch our previous video uh, on the Decision Influencer Matrix, which is the first in um, a two-part series, and this is obviously the second. Uh, and that can be found on our website under video tutorials. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started. This is the simple Excel workbook. This is obviously the, the, the front page, uh, the overview page, uh, as you can see there. And it just basically gives you a bit of a, an introduction as to what we're trying to achieve. If you look down there, then you've got the influencer matrix, you've got the def decision influence map, and then you've got the tutorials button. There's four uh, buttons, i.e. four um, spreadsheets. Um, and then when you click on the tutorials, as you can see there, it takes you to a tutorial um, or to the tutorial page, but you can also see the tutorial button on the overview page, which does exactly the same thing. So if we go straight to the influence matrix and start to fill it in, very simple, um, what you can see there is that you put in the uh, account name, you put in the um, town that it's in, you then put in your name uh, or the account manager's name and then you put in the supervisor's name or the person who manages that account manager and you put in the date. Okay, and then you can see there, that's the stakeholders uh, that are written down there. There's uh, a place for eight stakeholders, and then you've got the um, stakeholder code, which is basically the initials, so the first letter of the first name and the surname. You then just write in whoever um, or the name of the stakeholder. That obviously changes the stakeholder code, um, and then you can see on the left hand side down here we've then taken out key stakeholders and we suggest that you have no more than six but that's down to you but you put the key stakeholders because the key stakeholders are then plotted um, so wherever you put the exit then plotted and we'll show that later you then move across um, and you've got drop down boxes there uh, and you just select whichever one reflects um, that particular stakeholder so we've put positive support the company for this particular individual he's the ultimate decision maker then influence and power uh, we've clicked that he's um, generally well respected you then move into quadrant four which you may say who uh, is Harry Hill influenced by and then who does Harry influence sorry who does Harry Hill influence and you just write that in there uh, and then you basically build up the picture of that stakeholder if you scroll down that stakeholder as you can see there is now plotted um, with all that information in one place and you can see that these uh, the, the, there's a traffic light system again there and different colors so if we went back up here and changed him from the ultimate decision maker and said he's now uh, a user influencer it changes uh, the color so it just allows you to have a pictorial um, view of what's going on um, and obviously I'll change it back to ultimate decision maker for the purposes of this uh, just to show you as well that uh, if you go into the print pre preview view then um, i.e. you want to print it off then it actually prints those two pages as separate pages so now you're ready to start filling out the influencer map so click on the influencer map and obviously the influencer map page comes up all of the information that you put in on the previous page in terms of the, t the account uh, the city etc is there and there's a tutorial button there just in case uh, you've got any difficulties uh, filling it out so we can always uh, click on that tutorial button to go to the tutorial page so that's the decision influencer map there which is empty and then you have to start filling it up um, and you'd fill that up by firstly taking the boxes and adding in uh, the individuals that we put it, that we had on the previous page so you put in Harry Hill you then would put in whatever his job title may be and then 
he would then type in what type of decision maker he was. Was it the ultimate decision maker? Was it an expert decision maker, etc.? Once you've done that, you've got the information about that particular individual. You then drag him across onto the box to where he was situated within um, the uh, influencer matrix that you built on the previous page. So you've then got Harry Hill, uh, an ultimate decision maker, um, but he's also an expert decision maker. And you just do exactly the same with all of them. And then you drag the arrow across, and as you can see there, you just click it into place, and the direction of arrow determines the direction of influence. And what you can also see there again is that when you go into the print preview, it just prints it off as the influencer map. So that's already done for you so hopefully that makes it really really easy um, that when you print it off or maybe you want to attach it to account plans and and different things like that and you basically build up the whole uh, of the decision influencer map like that and of course if you have any issues whatsoever with uh, this particular page then you just click on the tutorial button that takes you to the tutorial page and that will give you uh, an exact explanation of everything that you need to do on there and then once you've finished with the tutorial page as you can see there it says return to the decision influence map which you then click on that that will take you back to the decision influence map uh, and, and that essentially is it so, so what I'll suggest you do now is just start utilizing it and, and, and really start playing with it and get your hands on it and you'll find it's a very easy and enjoyable tool to use and it really does uh, bring to life what we talked about in video one so happy planning